Hey guys, so tonight we are focusing our attention and love on Black Sam, Samuel Askadon, the brother of Hermes Askadon, aka Nipsey Hussle. So tonight we're going to take a look into basically how he feels now, right now in this present moment, as well as how he feels towards Tanisha as well as how he feels about Lauren and the rest of his brother's crew. Um, and we'll also look into the outcome of this probate court thing with Tanisha Child. So, let's get started. Alright. One moment here because I'm going to have to cleanse my cards. I did a couple of readings tonight for my people. It was very successful, so any guys who are, or gals that are interested in some readings, please feel free to email me. I will put the information on um, the actual pinned comments. I'm using cinnamon right now, y'all, because I just ordered some new sage and all of that good stuff. So, yeah. That's the great good thing about Sage. Okay. Okay. So we definitely got that. I do a lot to set the mood, yeah. When I'm doing my spiritual read for people that is long distance. I spread my mood everywhere. Got some little spiritual spray up in here. Alright, so let's see how Sammy feels. Alright, Spirit, please give me a five part spread on how Sammy asked it all he feels. Right now, I have his brother's dick. It's kind of feeling. Sam is kind of in a up and down space. He wants to be he wants to be at peace and he's trying but he's feeling like a victim still. He's in prison to his thoughts and he's trapped in his thoughts. He's trying to come up with a strategy basically to move forward without his baby brother but he's having a hard time so he is trying to figure things out he's still living with a lot of uncertainty and embarrassment he's embarrassed because he feels like <clears throat> he didn't protect his brother the way he wanted to um, he feels like he was not the protector that his brother needed at the moment in time. And he's really beating himself up about this, about his brother's passing. He's trying to be brave and focus on <clears throat> the business at hand, but his mind always goes back to Nipsey and feeling burdened by the responsibilities that he's having to take on um, because he was not prepared for this at all um so that is kind of his current feelings right now it's just a lot of negative emotions because he's going through it guys like even though <clears throat> it's only been like a month and some change for us since nipsey died it seemed like it was yesterday to his family they are constantly going through it and between sam and lauren i don't know who is up and down the most but sam still has a sense of wanting to protect everybody which is good because he's still able to be the protector and he's able to balance out his feelings more than lauren <clears throat> okay Okay, give me one moment here. <clears throat> All right, Spirit. So, how does Sam feel about Tanisha Foster? How does Sam, you ask it, all feel about Tanisha Foster? Please give me three cards, Spirit. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> 
He feels sorry for her. He does. He feels sorry for her. Um, <clears throat> and he feels like she's bringing a lot of conflict. And he wants to basically... Sorry, y'all. Y'all know it ain't normal if somebody don't call me. But it's okay. Because I put the phone on. Do not disturb. Now, my husband home, so we ain't got to worry about him calling tonight. So, anyway. He <clears throat> sees her as a person that um, needs help. Also, he sees her as... And this is Tanisha we're talking about. He sees Tanisha as a person that is acting all around opportunity. Um, <clears throat> he chooses to follow his intuitions when it comes to Tanisha. And he tries to be resilient in this situation. And not really um, feed too much into her. But Tanisha is too much. Too much. <clears throat> he feels like she has... He's trying to... He feels like she has overstepped her boundaries one too many times. And he's trying to come up with a plan to get her out of his hair basically <clears throat> and he knows that she's dangerous and he knows that she is like what is the word i always have like a brain fart once a day he knows that she is like, she thinks that things are happening that aren't really happening. So, like, she is not prone to reality. She doesn't, she can't see the truth for what it is. In her mind, she thinks she's more to them than what she actually is. Um, <clears throat> and it's not that they have a disdain for her. They actually care for her and want her to be in a good position um, <clears throat> for the sake of their niece and their granddaughter and so have it but she doesn't want better for herself so that is their situation as far as she goes and sam is actually one of those people that wants to see her do good but she's not doing good and so he sees her as an opportunist so let's see how he feels about more He loves Lauren, okay? He comes in as Lauren's protector with the King of Wands. <clears throat> He's very committed and um, decisive when it comes to her. He implements himself in decisions that need to be made regarding her because he is his brother's keeper. And he knows how his brother has protected Lauren and stood by her, and he's going to do the same thing. He will do no different. Um, <clears throat> he does have some uncertainties as far as if she's going to be able to continue on with the business right now just because of the emotional state that she is in. Um, <clears throat> he just isn't sure, you know, that things will, you know, progress with her because she's so hopeless. She's just so hopeless. Um, she, and, and she feels neglected and <clears throat> he just, he's trying to keep her out of the limelight as much as possible. Um, he's trying to keep her, um, safe. <clears throat> um, and he hates to see her feel like Nipsey left her because she keeps saying that he left her. Um, but she does bring a lot of balance and peace to everyone's life. Um, and she is maintaining a sense of calm externally, but internally she's tore up. But externally she's maintaining a sense of calm and he admires that about her. 
So that's what he thinks of her. He's her protector. He's going to protect her with all costs. Um, let's do a three card pull on how he feels about Nipsey's crew. It's giving me a three card pull. We already got one. Listen, when I said Nipsey's crew, I got the King of Swords, which is conflict. Making a sound plan or decision in the justice card. So there is somebody in Nipsey's crew that Sam is suspicious of. He does not trust them and he wants to bring harm to them. But he's not. He's playing it cool because he wants the truth to be revealed, which in due time it will be. He's going to find out the information that he wants to know. And I think because there is so much on the table with his brother's personal affairs, that he will handle it the correct way and go to the authorities versus handling it the street way because the police are watching them right now. They're watching every move that Samuel makes because they know that he wants to avenge his brother's death. And if they get Samuel, they get everything that Nipsey worked for besides the things that are set aside for his children. And Sam knows that. Very intuitive guy. Very aware. So, he will maintain his sense of calm. <clears throat> He won't. He won't. He's going to make realistic decisions. And he's going to come out as the king of pentacles. Period. He'll have success and good news from everything. He's not going to mess up his brother's money. He's going to take care of his brother. In death and in life. He's going to take care of his brother and avenge him in that way. Definitely so much so. And also, um, they're going to do a documentary on Nipsey. And we're going to get to hear more about um, how the family was actually feeling at the time of his death. Lauren will speak, as well as Sam. And um, we will get Mama, Mama Angel's uh, take on her son's passing in a more realistic tone than how she was kind of oblivious to the situation at first. Um, because I feel like she was trying to speak in a way that she could cope with herself and also comfort us because his family has a tendency of doing it. He's Nipsey's spirit is even the same way. So they will try to make themselves seem like they're okay when they're really a tore apart on the inside. Um, the reality just hadn't set in yet for Nipsey's mom. So when we see her on this documentary, we're going to see something new. Um, his dad will speak, of course, his sister, um, and we may finally get to hear from Imani. I'm thinking that we will hear from Imani, and so I'm really excited about that, so you guys can get a good insight on how she feels, and I think that they're going to do it the year anniversary of Nipsey's death. Um, Spirit is saying a year anniversary of his death, they'll have a special doc documentary on him. Um... <clears throat> You know, speaking about his life and having people in his life speak of him. And justice will have prevailed by the time we get this documentary. So some of the key players will be revealed within that time, okay? Alrighty, so let's see the business outcome for Samuel, okay? Samuel, please give me the business outcome for Samuel, please. So, let me tell y'all something. 
one thing about these this family is they exude strength the outcome of the business is there are going to be some major changes there's going to be some chaos around the business but we already know that because we're seeing it play out now okay <clears throat> and it's going to be a lot of issues with Sam getting things for the community um, up and running because they're going to try to paint him as a person that behaves less than ethical um, to even participate in things of that nature. But he's going to come out on top. Um, with the help of his father, they're going to figure it out together. They're going to figure it out together and they're going to be very prosperous. The outcome is the Ace of Pentacles, which means prosperity and gratification. And these guys are going to come out on top. So the outcome of the business is going to still be prosperous. I foresee that happening for them, for those guys. Uh, but the chaos is going to last for a period of one to two years. So there will be a pause before their next cycle of life, which will be chaos. It will be chaos. And then they're going to revert back to spending time with each other again, getting close with the family because there are going to be some internal family issues with this business um so they're going to get back to back to loving one another and <clears throat> walking around the less than ethical way of doing things and they're going to come out on, up on top they're going to come out on top sam is a control freak but he's going to start working on that so that he can work with his dad. And they're going to pull it off. They're going to be prosperous. The business will flourish. Because people are going to mourn Nipsey for a very long time. Um, way after his, uh, you know, demise. Untimely demise. Way past us being around. People will mourn him throughout the world for a very long time. Um, so that's just kind of what I see for Samuel Askedon. Um, he is a protector. He is a fighter. We're going to send him much love and light from my channel, from my subscribers, my viewers, everywhere. We're going to send Sam love and light so he can have some strength to get through these tough times because the next couple of years are going to be very trying for him. There are going to be a lot of issues with people trying to take over some of his brother's deals that his brother already had laid out that we don't know about. There are going to be a lot of people like Tanisha that are going to try to challenge him, but he's going to overcome it all with the help of his father. The family is going to have to stick together because there are a lot of vultures out here that want something, okay? So, with that being said, that's going to conclude our reading for tonight. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. You know if you want to read in, email me, hit me up. I will take good care of you. And thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night.